expecting a terrific crowd here at Bluebell Park tonight and throughout the weekend. And let's get started. Ryan Prager against R.J. Austin. And first pitch swinging very high in the air. Looks like it'll get out of play just over the A&M dugout. Got him looking. Three pitches and struck out 12. Went outside, swing and a miss by Alan Espinal. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Ryan Prager. That is a well-earned walk. Center field and deep. At the track, looking up, and that's off the batter's eye. Jace Laviolette in the first inning launches his 15th home run of the year. If you're the Aggies, you literally could not ask for a better start. Just an incredible at bat by Gavin Grahovic to get this started. That's 107 miles an hour off the bat, 430 feet from Jace Laviolette. Just a great job. That ball's down. He just stays all over and hammers it off the batter's eye. Now he's gone to right field. Slow moving train out there behind the wall. It may get decked. The Aggies go back to back with their big hitters. Laviolette and now Montgomery launches his 18th homer of the year. I just told you it doesn't get any easier. I think Montgomery may be the best of the three. He backs up Laviolette's home run with a home run of his own. That's 100, 106 off the bat, another 405 foot of worth of home run and just awesome offensive start if you're Texas A&M. Tried to get in, didn't get in enough. Was the head coach, Schlossnagel was his assistant coach. Ryan Prager, but no hesitation. A&M had him as their opening day starter. And he has another strikeout. Cunningham faces Travis Chestnut, the Aggies second baseman. Chestnut with speed. Bounces that through the left side of the infield, and he has a base hit. Back healthy again, and Gavin Grahovac zips that through the left side. Back-to-back -back base hits through the left side. Chestnut to second base. Regional, super regional play. <laughs> He's just past the midway point. Center field, back at the track, looking up and watching it hit the batter's eye. Braden Montgomery has done it again. He continues to wow the Bluebell Park crowd. Two homers tonight, 19 on the year. Telling you guys, this is a special, special talent that you're getting to watch right now. That's his second home run in as many at bats tonight. That's 19 on the season. 106 miles an hour off the bat, 430 feet. That's an elevated changeup. 87 miles an hour that just doesn't bend out of the zone. It stays elevated. Braden stays on it. Aggies are rolling six nothing. But it got the job done. What a swing and a miss, and Ryan Prager. Swing and a miss by Calvin Hewitt. It's borderline getting ridiculous. Went to the slider, struck him out, and uh, all you can say is wow right now. Ryan Prager, first time through the lineup, gets two fly outs to center field and seven strikeouts. Stolen 17 bases this year, and he has looped that into center field. What a play. Field and Jace Laviolette. Coming on and making the diving grab. Kentucky and Arkansas. For Kentucky, it's their best SEC start in their history. Travis Chestnut is just run. teed off on a pitch. That went off the top of the wall and center. Well, he can run, but he showed some power. That may have been a few feet from a home run. Very high in the air, and that's deep, too, at the track. Converging on the warning track was Holcomb and Hewitt, and Holcomb will take it. That'll do the job with chestnut speed at third base. Holcomb will make the catch. Lavulette drives in chestnut and ups the Aggie lead to 7 0. The reigning SEC player of the week at the plate. 
Davis hit that well. Diving effort. Gavin Grohovac trying to get it out of the glove. Could not make the transition. Threw it into the dirt. He feels like if you can do those two things, you give yourself a chance to win. Hit pretty hard into left field in front of Caden Sorrell. Base hit, Davis Diaz. Not hit very hard, a long run in for La Violette, but he's got wheels, he can run, and he will get there. The Aggies and Commodores have to feel like they are primed to get there. Jackson Appel has been ripping the baseball as of late. He's gone down the line and right to start the fifth with a double. Zero walks in 10 innings, so he should be around the strike zone. Ted Burton, right field, backing up at the track. That just missed section 12, but it got over the wall. The Aggies have left the yard again. This one is the fourth home run of the year by Ted Burton. the fourth home run for AM tonight in four plus innings. That's another all speed pitch. Looks like a change up. Burton does a nice job staying inside that baseball, shooting it the other way that you can't do that. Of course, there's, there's other things to play for and, and a top eight is certainly one. The Aggies keep ringing out base hits. That's the 12th one of the night. Swinging right away, base hit. Camarillo is heading to third. They're at the corners for the Aggies. Swinging, and he hit that very high to left. Braden Holcomb. Might have a play here. Waits on it. Here comes Camarillo. The play now is cut off. I've never looked at him and thought he looks like a freshman. He's going to have to throw a strike as quick as possible. Try to silence this crowd. Only problem is when you throw a strike to Jace Lavillette, sometimes it lands well over the outfield wall. Opposite field here, tracking back onto the track, giving it a look. And he got out of here. Jace Lavillette, second home run of the night. He and Montgomery both a couple of home runs tonight. And for Lobulette, it's number 16 on the season. Bubbles in the air, and the route is on. Look, Will, you and I talked about it in the opening. We talked about what happens offensively at Olsen Field at Bluebell Park on the south wind when that wind's blowing out. That's an 88-mile-an-hour fastball. Now, Jace did hit this ball 100 miles an hour off the bat, but I can't help but think the wind had something to do with that. He just keeps pushing and pushing. Two superstars in the outfield for Texas A&M. Vastine rings that out up the middle for a base hit. A rare leadoff runner on base. That's a big out. That's a great pitch. Well, that's his ninth strikeout tonight. Hard hit. Burton hard around first base. All the way to second, throw got away. He's going to try for three. There'll be no throw at third. Davis Diaz, nice job fielding. He will throw out. Hayden shot, but shot productive. You can look at as Camarillo goes to left center field. He's heading to second base, trying to turn this into a double, and he's there. That's all out. Hustle by the Aggies. Shortstop. He's done a nice job here tonight at the plate. Shot part of that four, five, and six in the lineup that's been so productive. This will get to the backstop and moves Camarillo to third base. Runner on third, less than two outs. And it was the 12th time he got the run home. Caden Sorrell with two outs and a runner on third. Rips one to right center. And Camarillo can trot home by an Aggie was earlier in the fourth inning when he doubled off the top of the wall and center. Watch this guy. Watch uh, this guy. Uh, it looks like Nobody they're having trouble it. finding it. They didn't find it and then finally found it with Braden Holcomb in left field. 
run rule would be in effect. That would end the game. Base hit to start the inning by Matthew Polk. They heard you. Yep. That'll do it. Prager wins the fight. Prager strikes out 10. He was brilliant. And AM run rules and shuts out Vanderbilt.